Okay, hello, hello, hello. It is I, Danny from Danny Tries a Ting. I'm just trying to put it on. Okay, hi everybody. This is Danny from Danny Tries a Ting. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel, everybody. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, if you're new, hello, hi. Grab a seat. If you have been here before, welcome. It's nice to see you again. Okay, so today it's going to be a short and dirty video because my son should be napping but he's not uh so i think i only have limited amount of time and i just kind of wanted to talk about social media the trolls <laughs> the criticism uh getting roasted on the internet okay because i've been feeling like i've been getting roasted a little bit just a little bit a little bit um okay so first let me just talk a little bit about my social blah, my relationship to social media i feel like i've always been private <laughs> i've usually had private profiles on facebook and instagram those were probably the two main technologies that i was using now that i am trying to start a brand and i am trying to figure things out i am putting myself out there it's all you know my anxiety is still there. My fear is very much still there. Don't get it twisted. It's just that I am like embracing the fear. I'm taking the fear. I'm taking the anxiety with me. And we're like going on together on this journey. Um, so social media. So for the purpose of um, just like branding, I try, I was trying to keep it relatively consistent. So Danny Try the Ting is my, my brand for YouTube. And I would say for YouTube, I probably have something like 75 followers right now. So it's growing slowly but surely. <laughs> I also created an Instagram account, Danny Tries a Ting. Uh, the only thing is I feel like I'm not great at um, uploading. I, I, I feel like I've been a little bit slow on that, but I think it's climbed now to about 50 followers. And IG, I usually post reels like actually a lot of like the shorts and the reels that i would post on tiktok i try to like use it across different platforms ultimately then i also joined tiktok this year literally like maybe two months ago i always was like <laughs> yo tiktok is for the kids let the kids do their little thing thing on tiktok on the tickety talk because i don't get it you know it's like ignorance so you you think it's for the kids but the thing is, since joining TikTok, I've been having a lot of fun. I swear, I feel like it's such a fun um, platform to use once you start to play around with it. There are so many fun little things to do, or I don't know, I just really have been um, enjoying myself. So, so you know, shame on me for having these preconceived notions about TikTok. Uh, anyway, so TikTok, I think I've, I've grown to about 150 followers now. Um, so again, it's like slow and steady. I think if I post regularly, so I probably post like, you know, three times a week, maybe. What else did I try? Oh, I also tried Pinterest. So Pinterest, I've, I had been using Pinterest before, but I never tried Pinterest for the purpose of like marketing myself. So I think I created like two pins for my products, which I don't think has gotten much traction just yet, but I think I need to further understand pinterest before i continue to explore it and so that i could really like maximize its potential basically in terms of like a marketing tool and then finally i i love reddit i've been on reddit i love reddit <laughs> the communities there i don't know i feel like i found a lot of communities that have been engaging and uh, helpful but i created a reddit for the purpose of this um etsy shop and so I specifically sought out communities that I thought might be interested in the stickers, in the products ultimately. So again, my stickers are food. It's food that are um, depicted almost as personas that are dancing at a dance hall, you know? Like they're catching a wine, they're dancing. They're what, what, what? <laughs> right? So I found communities that uh, related to food, foodies, Caribbean food, Jamaican food, uh, <laughs> groups that were pertaining to Jamaican culture, to Caribbean culture, just to sort of like, you know, put feelers out there and test how like the product might be received ultimately. And I will say that one of the comments <laughs> I found so offensive. No, I didn't find it so offensive, but I, I was definitely very defensive I was almost defensive responding back. 
uh where's post-production post-production okay so here is the post on reddit my nice little cute little message um you know again just trying to get a feeler and then somebody asked the question and you know i thought it was valid okay and then i get the roast about it's nasty x-rated stickers relating it to x-rated stickers and i don't want to look like a deviant what Okay, y'all can just see my cute little response. Brr, brr, brr. I kept it sweet. It's not how I felt, but I kept it sweet. Yeah. And at first I was like, <laughs> <laughs> y'all coming for me. <laughs> but then, you know what? I first thought about my mom because my mom, when I showed her the initial design for the Aki and Sawfish and the fried dumpling that are bubbling, my mom was like, hmm? and my mom is a like lovely, you know, church going woman. So her reaction should have hinted to something. Okay. But again, she's my mom. So she loves me. So she didn't actually tell me how she felt, but I did book that. Okay. So then when I got this comment on Reddit, I put two and two together and I recognized that while there's an audience out there that I feel like totally gets the stickers and totally gets where i'm coming from because again you know my parents are from are from jamaica i love jamaican culture um and this was like a way to sort of like show love and completely embrace the fullness of the culture including the whining including the dancing like all of that is nothing to be to, for me it's nothing to be ashamed about it's just part of the culture it's like so integral that um, I it didn't dawn on me that some people might be offended by it. And I actually th saw it as an opportunity, right? Like here is somebody who's saying, you know, the foods are cool, but the dancing or the way that the foods are depicted dancing, I feel like it's an opportunity essentially to, you know, I have a certain market target market and etsy talks about all the time the importance of having a niche and i totally feel like i have a niche that is already pre-existing however potentially it's an opportunity to sort of like widen that market by um going back to the drawing board not to scrap the ideas that i already have because i love those but maybe there's a way to sort of um edit some of the dot designs so that sorry Feel like i'm hearing my son cry but i'm not sure to edit some of the designs so that um yeah that segment can also feel included and they can also have their patty and cocoa bread but you know maybe the patty and cocoa bread are holding hands instead of dancing you know another example is when um i think somebody on youtube said to me that uh my score my store looked disorganized <laughs> and i was like oh i have like 30 products really um but then I, it, I did recognize that my store didn't have the uh, categories on the side. And so it was a very small, short exercise just of identifying different categories so that it could possibly make it easier for people to find, you know, someone's interested in mugs. You can get a mug, click here. Um, someone wants stickers. Let's just focus on stickers. They can click here. So thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good looking out. <laughs> um... Yeah, all this to say that there's opportunities, maybe even in some of the criticism that you receive. So maybe taking the time to process things before reacting and like really giving it some thought. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to agree with what people say. Some people are trolls and in some cases as well, it just is not applicable or it's not something that you're necessarily going to be interested in. Just. I just mean that initial step of um, processing first and giving it some thought and then assessing which way you ought to go. Um, it was a useful exercise for me anyways. <laughs> Have you ever recorded something and the audio was so bad because the washing machine was going on in the background? That's what happened here, okay? So 
the voice is not going to match the lips moving in the video. And it's okay. It's okay. I promise. I promise. Basically, the gist of what I'm trying to say here is essentially be mindful of where you get your advice. Not all advice is good advice. And sometimes not all criticism is constructive. So while I provided anecdotes of stories that allowed me to be reflective and pensive and then sort of problem solve along the way, along the way, <laughs> that's not always the case. Trolls be trolling, haters be hating. And so just be mindful, okay? I think the video is about to wrap up. Notes from post-production, y'all. Notes from post-production. You know, there's still trolls everywhere. It's hard sometimes to like, you know, you just want to delete everything and mute everything sometimes. But I also think there's strength in um, like having dialogue in some cases, in some cases, not all cases. In some cases, I think there's strength in having dialogue. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I would be really curious to know if you have any, I don't know, what are some of your situations that were just awkward where, um, you know, someone either didn't vibe with something that you created or they left like a really salty comment that was really offensive to you like how do you handle that how do you how do you consume the the negative aspects of like this process of community building right because it's like beautiful moments but also there's that part that aspect as well so how do you manage that and cope with that leave your comments and input in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm looking at you. 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 I think the button's like right in the corner, maybe here or maybe here. <laughs> One of these laces. There's a button right in the corner that says subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. So much.